Hello guys, in this video, I'm gonna share with you a interesting article about how to learn React. This guide is for people who are starting with React and you as a React developer need to learn the prerequisites like HTML, CSS and JavaScript, just the basic knowledge. But in JavaScript, you need to learn ES6 features such as let, const, arrow functions, import and export and classes. After that, you can start learning React. To get started, the best start point to write code is using Create React App. Forget CodePen, JS Fidel and stuff like that, which, has, which are online code editor. Try to download Visual Studio Code and use Create React App in this link. It's really interesting whether you're using React or another library, Create React App let you focus on code and not build tools. To create a project called my app, only run this command and you will have a complete React application, the starter point in your computer and with Visual Studio Code, open the my app folder and start coding there. Now you should have a basic idea of fundamental of React. So now take a look at the React official tutorial. It's really interesting tutorial here in this link, which start with a hello world program, then in 12 steps teach you how to program with React. You will have an introduction to JS6, rendering elements, components and props, and you will learn state and life cycle, how to handle events, how to use conditional rendering, and how to deal with list and keys. Then you can create forms, and the part 10 is very important, lifting state up, which is very important to uh, merge together some component together, and Part 11 is about composition about uh, versus inheritance, which is the philosophy of React. After having introduction to React, it's better to understand fetching API with React. It's an interesting tutorial in this link, and you will create a very simple cart application which uses fetch method of JavaScript to get remote data with this command. Now it's time to build some projects like simple to do app, simple calculator app, a shopping cart and display users state using GitHub API. Don't forget to use this tutorial to create this application. Now it's time to use React Router. It helps you to create routes to your single page application. It's very powerful and easy to use with your React application. This video on YouTube by Codecademy is very great and you can use this one in this link and only in 13 minutes you can use React Router in your application and build a single page application. Now you can create projects some as a simple crude application or a hacker news clone. It's very good if you are a middle or advanced React developer to get familiar with Webpack because it's a famous JavaScript module bundler and help you to maintain dependency as a static file for your project so developers don't have to do it. So don't forget to get familiar with Webpack because in the advanced level you really need it. Server rendering is one of the coolest features in React. 
It can be used with any of the backend technology and it help you to create component in server and render that as a HTML in your browser. The best tutorial to use server side rendering also is by react.js.org, the official web page website of React in this link. When uh, you are great at React, you need to learn Redux. It's a JavaScript library developed for maintaining application state. It helps you to manage state across component and you can store all your state in a single source and of course, React plays well with Redux. Also, the tutorial in YouTube by Code Academy is very great and help you to use Redux in your application. As you can see in this link, it uh, really is a serious comprises of seven videos which you can use them. They are very short video and very powerful and help you to learn Redux together with React. Great. I hope this article give you a vision to learn React as a very basic JavaScript developer. Try to learn ES6 feature because it's very important. Try to learn functional programming because React is based on functional programming and it helps you to be a better developer. Until next video, I'm coding with Basir. Bye-bye.